Uh, for the past year, I have served as founding member president of Smart TV Alliance and having seen it grow from an idea to an, to an organization with 19 members. In addition to the three founding members, LG, Toshiba, and TP Vision, the Alliance added Panasonic and many other world-class companies in the Smart TV application ecosystem. The Alliance has made progress in simplifying the application development process for smart TVs and released a number of developer resources, SDKs, and specifications for Alliance compliant devices. Application developers have also begun to build and publish apps using these resources. I'm very proud of what the Alliance has accomplished to date and I believe it has a strong foundation. However, there is such a much, such much work to be done in order for the Alliance to reach its ultimate goal of providing smart TV application developers a built once run everywhere development and distribution process. I believe the Alliance will continue the drive forward to make this dream a reality. Oh, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for coming. Um, at first, uh, I'd like to talk about the vision of the Smart TV Alliance. The Smart TV market is growing and many types of Smart TV are released in the market. So many platforms exist. This causes a, a lot of the complicated situation and this is an industry-wide problem for the both TV manufacturer and network content stakeholder, such as the content provider, content aggregator, application developers, and technology partners. We thought we had to thus find a way to improve this situation. One of the best ways to improve this is that somehow provide a common smart ecosystem with a partner who share the same view. Yes, Smart TV Alliance came from the, this view, Smart TV Alliance within an open and productive ecosystem. Okay, this is an example which shows the difficulty in the existing Smart TV industry. Um, each application developer create application. After that, they have to modify or tune up their own application for different TV platforms, even though the, the contents are the same. Okay, Smart TV Alliance focused on the web functionality to simplify the relationship between the application and the TV functionality. We standardize interface between the <coughs> web application and the TV platform using HTML5 based technology. We are precisely making a specification to define the interface and once the contents are complied with Smart TV Alliance specification, the application works on many TV sets under the Smart TV Alliance ecosystem. Now we open the TV platform to all Smart TV Alliance members, developers do not need to release a different application for each TV set anymore. Yes, our policy is build ones, run everywhere. Any developer can start to develop the TV application with a simple access and a registration in the site. You can start to communicate with each industry vendor on this. We believe it's reduce the cost and increase the flexibility and the speed up for development of TV application. Today we opened our developers our developers support page on our site. It's release all information to develop the TV application and the developers are able to take advantage of our joint QA. You are ready 
to start development of the TIP application on our side. We released the SDK 2.5 and demonstrated my screen capability, which announced the last CES. We proudly announced the support latest feature on Smart TV, like a UHD capability. Smart TV Alliance is continuously support latest feature on the market, and we quickly open it for the de developers. We believe our vision innovates in TV industry, and we helps to create excellent TV ecosystem. With web services, we continuously introduce many exciting ideas to the market and we keep sending our message to any partners who join us in our exciting journey. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. I'll begin with the latest SDK release 2.5. Mr. Yasuki touched on some of these topics, but before Smart TV Alliance, application developers faced a challenging process to launch TV's applications. As you see here, this developer has developed an application for Panasonic, presumably doing pretty well, as you see the money signs coming back to her. She then had to customize that application for each and every other Smart TV platform in order to launch the application on those TVs. This is a very time-consuming process and can potentially be risky for a developer with limited resources. With Smart TV Alliance, the application developer can use a single SDK for a build once, run everywhere experience. Here you can see that she has developed one application using the SDK. That application now runs on all four Smart TVs. Today we're very pleased to announce the release of SDK 2.5. <coughs> it shares common features with previous SDKs that we've released, such as 2.0, and it enables applications to run on specification 2.5 Alliance compliant devices. Spec 2.5 was released earlier this year in May. The <coughs> compliant devices from various manufacturers in the Alliance are becoming available today. 2.5, much like earlier versions, includes developer resources for the entire development process, including Eclipse independent development environment support, a TV emulator, Alliance spec compliance check tooling, and developer documentation. The SDK can run on current and recent versions of Mac OS, Windows, and Ubuntu. Spec 2.5 is already available, and SDK 2.5 has just been released. Developers can visit our newly updated developer portal at developers.smarttv-alliance.org for more information and to download the SDK. Concurrent with the release of our latest SDK, we are also very happy to announce the release of our next specification for device manufacturers, spec specification 3.0. Spec 3.0 includes support for the latest emerging device features that will support the next generation of applications. The specification is used by manufacturers to design Smart TV Alliance compliant TVs and media devices. Devices that are compliant with the specification can then support applications developed using our SDKs and upcoming SDK 3.0 and developer support offerings, which I'll go into further depth here in the future. Although every smart TV manufacturer supports different technology and specs, one thing that Alliance members do have in common is that we all embrace the web. The web is very important, not just because it is already widely supported, but because it has enormous future potential growth as the basis for smart TV applications. With the emergence of the HTML5 web programming standard, we're already seeing that it's growing rapidly today in the developer community, and we believe that it will continue to grow even faster in the future. HTML5 is a foundation for Smart TV Alliance, and on top of this foundation, we will include elements of video and audio technologies, such as digital rights management, adaptive streaming, and codecs that will enable leading-edge development. 
Spec 3.0 includes major new features and improvements since our version 2.0, which we announced at CES earlier this year. Some of these improvements include support for multi-screen applications. This was actually part of our Spec 2.5 release in May uh, and will also be supported in Spec 3.0. TV apps can now be extended to tablets and smartphones and vice versa. This opens up a wealth of new opportunities for developers who can take advantage of the small screen and the large screen and the interaction between the two form factors. Spec 3.0 also supports Ultra HD. The specification includes a common platform for ultra high resolution 4K video services. 3.0 will also support a smart home. In January of 2014, the Alliance will publish a new specification for Smart Home. Smart Home is a communication protocol that is used for the interconnectivity of devices in the home. Application developers will be able to use an upcoming SDK for Smart Home in order to build applications that connect between devices in the house. And last but not least, HTML5 updates. The spec has been updated to include the latest state-of-the-art open standards from the HTML5 community, keeping pace with the quickly evolving web application market requirements. With this announcement, we are making available the version 3.0 specification today. It's freely available for download at our website. At CES in January 2014, we'll launch the SDK 3.0, which will allow application developers to build 3.0 spec compliant applications. Then in spring of next year, TV manufacturers will released through retail channels, 3.0 specification compliant televisions. This timeline enables developers to start building applications for the latest TV models. Now I'm very happy to introduce our new developer support program, which may be the most important announcement we're making today. This is a first-of-its-kind developer support program that goes far beyond the standardization of specifications and SDKs. The core of this program is an integrated QA process, whereby application developers can develop one application and submit that one application to a joint QA process for certification across multiple Smart TV Alliance compatible devices. This program collapses the individual manufacturer-specific QA processes into one single process, greatly reducing developer costs and time to market. This is the natural next step in our evolution to provide developers with a build-once, run-everywhere reality. The current situation application providers face is quite challenging. Each manufacturer has similar steps in their QA process, but each has its own specific requirements. The general requirements can be bucketed into technical requirements and business requirements. Technical requirements can include questions such as, is the app performing well on this particular TV? Business requirements might include aspects of that specific TV manufacturer's requirements such as, does it adhere to UX guidelines that are mandatory for that TV? The end result is that previous to today, a single app must go through four different QA processes for each of these four TV vendors each one having its own specific requirements. This is time consuming, costly, and for a developer with limited resources, may be risky as well. With today's announcement, we are fundamentally changing the QA paradigm. The previously redundant and OEM specific QA cycles across the four OEMs becomes a single process. The aligned specifications and SDKs enabled one application to be developed for the multiple TVs, now, the four separate QA processes that would have been necessary afterwards are collapsed into one single QA process with one single app validation report, one single point of contact for QA, and single, single source of real-time support from Smart TV Alliance. This integrated development and QA process enabled by the Alliance greatly simplifies the go-to-market process for app developers in a very fragmented device world. Developers can now focus on the quality of their content and the quality of their applications and less on the complicated process to launch those applications across multiple TVs. The developer support program is available now. Developers can access the developer portal site to receive more information and start the application submission process. With the developer support program, 
launching an app on compliant TV devices is comprised of five steps. I won't go into detail on each step here. There's a developer event later today if people want more information. Uh, but in general, it, is very, it should be a very familiar process to application developers. The first step is registering the app. You can go to our portal to do that. Second is downloading the SDK, developing the actual application. Third is using our self-check tools to do self-testing in addition to an app description form. That is used to submit the app to our validation process, which is our new joint QA process. If all goes well, the application is then released across the four TVs. So in summary, the Alliance's mission is to make the Smart TV application go-to-market process very simple and less costly, allowing developers to focus on their core strengths of building great applications and providing great content. We continue to drive forward with our Build Once, Run Everywhere scenario, and we believe the developer support program is the next step and next phase in that. For more information, you can go to this URL available today. Lastly, I'll talk a little bit about the roadmap. This probably looks familiar, I touched upon this in the Specification 3.0 section, but um, in general, our yearly timetable is to release specifications for devices at EFA. The SDK to support application development for those specification compliant devices are then released in CES in January of the next year. Lastly, those TVs that are compliant are then released to the market around the March timeframe. This cycle allows application developers to begin development to hit the new TV models every year. As for a more detailed roadmap for our next few years, Today we have announced SDK 2.5, Spec 3.0, and our developer support program. At CES, we will release SDK 3.0 with support for the new app features we mentioned, including Ultra HD support and HTML5 updates. We will also release Smart Home 1.0 specification at that point in time. At EFO, we will release Spec 4.0, SDK 1.0 for Smart Home, bringing application developers' ability to build applications for interconnected devices. The following year at CES, we will release SDK 4.0 and so on. All the while, we'll continue to bolster our developer support program offering. We continue to drive forward and we really want to build this build once, run everywhere vision. And our customer really is application developer. So we're happy to announce these things today. And we hope that the application developers find these things to be very high value and to make their application process and distribution process much easier.